Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery from the company that everyone thinks I pronounce the name wrong, Red Odeo. So let's go ahead and open it up and find out what's inside. All right, and in typical Red Odeo fashion, we have a, a zippered pouch that has your product manual, a, uh, a quick startup guide, and some stickers. On the top styrofoam, it always has the bolt. It has the post bolts and the post bolt covers. And here is the battery. All right, with all Red Odeo batteries, this uh, design pattern is very lively and and youthful, I guess you could say. I do like the fact that they have a lot of information right on the battery, so you don't need to go searching for uh, the user's manual to find your basic information. Um, it does say that it's a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery. It does say that it is designed for trolling motors, so it is marine grade, which means it's, I believe, IP67 rated. On the top, it does say the rated capacity is 100 amp hours. That means that it is 1,280 watt hours. The charging voltage is 14.4, give or take 0.2 volts. So between 14.2 and 14.6 would be perfect. The maximum continuous charge and discharge current is 100 amps. It also has a QR code right on the top so you can download the, uh, the app that comes with this battery because this is a smart battery so you can download an app to go with it. Uh, and it also is LTCP, which stands for Low Temperature Charging Protection, which we will test later. The battery does come with these terminal protectors and the terminals, I like how they're color coded so there's no question on which one's positive and which one's negative. It does come with a nylon strap that is very easy to just pop right off, which is nice. This is a Group 31 style battery case, so that means that it is 13 inches long, it is 8.43 inches tall, and it is 6.77 inches deep. And it weighs in at 22.9 pounds. All right, the first thing you should do when you receive your battery is check the voltage to make sure that it is uh, operating properly and that it should be at around 50% state of charge. Now, that usually means that it's between 13.1 volts and 13.2 volts. So let's go ahead and check that now. The voltage is 3.23 volts. Now, what that means is that this BMS uh, is disabled right now it's disabled the battery and i know i've come across another i think it was a power queen that the battery was shipped with the bms shut off so in order to do that you need to have another 12 volt source in order to wake that battery back up now i luckily have a benchtop power supply which i will be using to wake up this battery um, but I do have a video, I'll go ahead and put it right over here. Um, I'll put a link to it. I'll put a link to it right up here um, that shows six ways in order to wake up a sleepy BMS when it comes to your battery. So let's go ahead and wake it up now. And all we need to do is, like I said, find another 12 volt source. It's actually, I think, better to have it one volt higher than what you need. So this is a 12.8 nominal. So I'm gonna go like 13.7, and I think that's what my charger is already at. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Yep, 13.72. So all you need to do is take your positive and negative and touch them to the battery. And you can see on my benchtop charger that now is accepting amperage, so it is awake. And now if we check the voltage, it is at 13.17 so in all honesty i don't like that i don't know if that's a better way to ship a battery with the bms shut off so you're not you, you know you don't have power to the terminals but you do have those terminal covers i mean it's all packaged up so i don't think that's the case because there might be some people out there that just don't quite know uh what's wrong and then they'll ship the battery back 
thinking that the battery's you know broken somehow because because they can't get it to charge with their non-zero voltage charger that they have. So leave, a, uh, leave something in the comments if you know more about why a battery manufacturer would actually do something like this. You all right? Yeah. All right, now that we have this battery uh, awake and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and charge it up to 100%, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a discharge test just to make sure that we are getting the 100 amp hours that we paid for. I'll let you know what the results are as soon as I get done. All right, the test results are done for this Red Odeo 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. It looks like we have 104.94 amp hours in this battery. That equates to 1282.88 watt hours. And this test took 10 hours and 27 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery back up and we're gonna do some high amperage testing. All right, well, um, I am charging up this Red Odeo battery to do some high amperage testing, but this battery is a smart version. So let's go ahead and open up the app and see what it can do. Okay, you can easily install the app by just scanning the QR code right on top of the battery, and then just follow the steps and you can either scan this QR code to find the battery or you can find it via Bluetooth. But here's what the app looks like when you get that all done. All right, this is the screen that it comes to, and as you can see, the state of charge is 99%. Um, because I am actually pushing between 70 and 75 amps into this battery currently. So on this screen, you can see that uh, time left for charging, it says one minute. The power going in is right around 1,000 watts. The current is 70 amps. The voltage is 14 volts and the capacity right now is 102 amp hours. Uh, down here, it does say that all cells are balanced. Uh, if you press on, I guess these are three buttons right here. So if you hit balance, it says all cells are balanced. It says if you press cells, it says battery is optimal condition. And the BMS says BMS is, in work, is working normally. Uh, honestly, that doesn't give us much information to go on. It's very beginner friendly, but it doesn't give you anything in detail. All right, so actually a very uh, basic app. It tells you pretty much what you need to know, but it's not gonna go into great detail. All right, I have the Red Audio battery all connected up for my high amperage testing. The first test we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that it can pull 100 amps continuous for five minutes without any problems. Um, and then we are gonna test the, uh, the maximum surge capacity. In the manual, it does say that it can do a one second surge at 500 amps. Now that's more than what my 5,000 watt MX Moon Free inverter can actually do. So this is gonna be a true test. Um, but let me show you how I'm gonna do this test right now. All right, and now here is the uh, Red Audio battery. It is connected to a voltmeter right here, which is at 13.76. Uh, and it also has two amp clamps connected. One is a continuous amp uh, calculation, and one is a maximum. So we're gonna be able to capture the maximum and find what it is at that current time. All of this is connected to a 5,000 watt MX Moon Free inverter, um, and it has a 500 watt heater, a 200 watt heater, a 1100 watt griddler, and a uh, variable wattage new wave induction cooktop, which can get up to 1300 watts. And then to test the actual surge, I'm gonna be using my Shopsmith. Now I know this thing can, this thing can really belt out the amperage on the surge. So we're gonna be testing that as well. Okay, well let's go ahead and get this test started. All right, and I'm also going to put the app on the screen so you can kind of follow along with the app as well. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, turn on the inverter. All right, and let's turn on our 500 watt heater, our 200 watt heater, and we're gonna turn on the uh, new wave to 600 watts, medium high, start. Now my amp clamps are reading 120 amps right now. Uh, the app is showing 112. But the, the amp clamp is down to 115, so we'll, we'll wait for it to settle. Let's go ahead and start our timer. All right, so it looks like it's settled at 113 amps on my clamp. 
and the app shows uh, 109, about 109 amps. So not terrible, not terrible at all. So we're gonna let this run for five minutes and I'll be back to see what happens. All right, well, it's been about five minutes and it's been pulling uh, around 117 amps continuous without any issues whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn off this 200 watt heater. So it'll lower it down to about 100, 100 amps. And we are gonna plug in my ShopSmith. So, so far the max surge we've seen is 123 amps. Let's go ahead and turn on the ShopSmith and see if this battery can actually start it up. All right, three, two, one, go. Wow. <laughs> and that overloaded my 400 amp clamp meter. Right, I'm gonna try it again, try to see if I can capture something else. Yeah, look at that, 400 amps it was able to surge. I mean, honestly, let me go ahead and bump up some stuff. I'm bumping up the new wave to 1300 watts. So we're at 130, three amps and the battery shut off after about 10 to 15 seconds which is perfect as you can see the battery is only at 2.6 volts that means the bms has shut it off because of an over amperage event okay so this red audio battery has been performing perfectly so far um, it did a 400 amp surge um, it continuously withdrew 100 amps, actually 115 to 120 amps for five minutes without any problem. And if you bumped it up to, I think I had it up to 130 amps, it shut off after about 10 or 15 seconds due to an over amperage event. That is exactly the protections that you want in your battery. So now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in my deep freezer for 24 hours and we're gonna see if the cold temperature charging protection works. All right, everyone. Well, this Red Odeo 100 amp hour 12 volt battery has been in my deep freezer for at least 24 hours. I think actually around 30 hours. So it is rock solid frozen. And now uh, if it has cold temperature charging protection, it should be totally fine when I put on this charger. Now I'm gonna be using this Latime 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. And now as you can see, it's blinking green right now. And that means that it's on standby. Now if it's, um, if it's charging, then it turns a solid red. And if it's blinking red, then there's a fault with the unit. But then when it's fully charged, it's a solid green. So the reason I'm telling you all this is because when I connect these uh, alligator clips to the battery, it should go from a uh, blinking green to a solid red for just one to two seconds. And then the battery tells it, hey, I don't want to be charged. So then the charger goes from a solid red to a solid green. So let's see what happens. All right, here we go. All right. Perfect. That is exactly what should happen if your battery has low temperature charging protection. All right, so what do I think of the Red Odeo 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery? This thing is uh, everything that I want it to be. Um, it has Bluetooth, which connects to an app that gives you your basic functions. Um, it has low temperature charging protection. It went over the uh, capacity that it's rated for. I think it had like, I don't know, 103, 104 amp hours in it. It passed all my high amperage capacity tests that I threw at it. Overall, I would say this is a very well-rounded battery when it comes to all the features that you need. So if you have any questions about this Red Odeo battery, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll leave a link to this battery in my description in case you want to look further into it. 
thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.